Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia tutorial. Uh, now I was asked uh, how I did this texturing of this hydrant here. And so I will show you how I did this. And it's a quite short tutorial. And I hope it helps you. So let's start. First, let's make a dummy hydrant. So. Nothing fancy, so just playing around. So I think I don't have to explain here a lot. You will see what I do. So good. Now is UL and loop selection D for an extrusion. Here on the top we do another extrusion. So then optimize this guy, make some edge selections with UL for loop selection, MS for bevel. Okay, I see I don't the tool is not activated. Okay. Good, let's see. Uh, that's enough. Another loop selection here. M MS for bevel. It's just so we have something to texture. And here a loop selection and MS again. Well, let's activate the limit and whoop. Okay, at the bottom we do something similar. Let's take L and D for extrusion, U, L, and E, and another U, L, and another D for extrusion. So, then we do some loop selections here. One, two, three. If you add, you want to add selections, just hold your shift key and you, so you can add as many selections as you want. MS for. Uh, and here another small one. So. And now here in the middle, we do a loop selection, then an inner extrusion with not preserving groups. So, yeah. And now I want to select just the edges of these polygons. So I hold my shift key and click here on edge mode, and I have just selected the edges. And these edges I need later, so I make a set selection. I have here set selection symbol on my thing, but uh, if you don't have it, go to select and here set selection. And you have this selection deck here. So go out and again in. So go back to your polygon selection. Now make an extrusion with D on your keyboard. Uh, and here we do the same. Hold the shift key and go in the edge mode. So we have here selected the edges and another set selection. And now we have selected this selection deck and want to add this selection deck. So just hold your shift key and double click on the second one, also here. Just double click it and now we have selected all edges. And the reason for this is now I can uh, easily bevel this thing. So MS for bevel and just bevel it. And don't have to select everything again and again and again and again. That's the reason we did this. So, and now we have a <laughs> type of hydrant. So, good. Now let's start texturing. We start with a yellow color. 
So for a new texture you just double click here somewhere or create new material. So this one we drag on our hydrant. You can drag it here in the viewport or drag it directly here on the, in the cylinder as, as you want, it doesn't matter. And we need a second texture of course. This we will make a red a red texture and this will be our rust later. So at first what we need now is a vertex map. So we go in this on our cylinder here, go in polygon selection and then select set vertex weight. Click on it and null is OK here and just click OK. Now we have a vertex map here. What we need then, so this vertex map, we just double click it and now we can paint on it. Go here, painting. So you see, let me get radius. You have now a brush here. The brush size you can alter with your middle mouse button. Hold your middle mouse button and drag it left and right so you can change the size of this brush. And now you can easily paint on it. See? Just click your left mouse button and paint on it. So now I show you what we can do with this. Go to your rust texture. Texture, let's see here, rust. Go to your alpha channel. Here we need a layer. Then under the layer we go to a noise shader. We want this noise for our uh, rust. You will see it later, so like 10%. So. And now we need another shader, effects, the vertex map. Click on the vertex map here, and now we drag this vertex deck here in. That's it. And we go from the normal blending to here to lever, 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 whatever it means. So, now of course we have to drag this texture, this rust texture to our cylinder too. And now we have a look what we got. So, it's not many now, <laughs> but it will, be, it will be better. So, let's go to the render region. So, now, image alpha, we have to deselect. And look at this, we get our rust texture. Now it's uh, it's uh, upside down, so we need to invert here. And we have our red rust on a yellow hydrant. Good, and now you can play with this, of course. You go to level and you can Dec uh, decrease here levels so you see, you see you, you get some spots uh, <laughs> you won't like it. but here you can play and then you can play with the hardness of the noise of course you can play with the noise here and the low and high clip too You see it? You're just playing around and playing around. But it's not only the only thing you can do. So let's go out of the interactive render edition. I have here a plugin called Magic Preview that's from Nitro 4D. I will give you the link in the description. It's easier to work with this one. So go here. Come on, make it bigger a bit. You see, that's a great plugin. 
So, and now, if you want to subtract some uh, selections you did, so go to your, uh, this we do not need to, double click your vertex map, and hold your uh, control key, and brush again over your things, so you can subtract your selections, you see here? Or add some, add here some, add here some. And if you want to delete every selection here, every painting, go to here to options, go to erase, strange hundred percent, and apply all. So it's everything deleted. And now you can do another thing. Let's go here to 50 and again to add. You can select edges or polygons or something, whatever you want. If you want to, uh, let's say, with little polygons, we want with UL and loop selection. Let's go here, go to our cylinder, here, UL for the loop selection. Let's say I want to do this, this one. Now I can go, double click on my vertex web, and apply selected. Now you see I have painted just on my selection here. And what we get now is, why don't this work? Uh -huh. oh, doesn't matter. Let's go in our interactive finder region. Now we have all around the, our whole selection is now painted. So, but that's it. That's everything normally. It's a quite simple thing. Just paint on it and do however you want. <laughs> ah, no, no. So, let's paint here, let's paint here, let's paint here, here, and if you want to subtract, hold your control key and paint here, paint here, paint here and as I said you can play here with the low and high key or with the brightness, whatever, you just play around as you okay, that's it, that's not more but then the result normally looks really nice and great, as you can see here. It's nothing, it's just organized the same what I did here. And that's it. No, just playing around. It needs some minutes, half an hour, hour. <laughs> but, but the result is worth it. So, okay. That's it for today. And next tutorial will come soon, latest next weekend. We'll see how how I have time. And I wish you a great Sunday and yeah, have a nice day. Bye bye. See you soon.